camera does not do that justice. That a plane flying over a sunrise. Oh, good morning, guys. Oh, it's morning for me. I have got to load up. Sorry for the wind noise. You probably can't even hear me, really. Let there be light. Maybe. There we go. Okay. Welcome to episode 14 of the trailer. My mother was using this to sell last night, so I've got to charge that up. These are ready to go. Um, I had my old one of these die the other day, and it about took a battery with it. Uh, where is it? This battery still works. As you can see, one of the or two of the plastic pieces are a little closer together than they should be. Still not really sure whether to trust this battery or not. It is still fully charged. I've used it in a couple tools since then. But knowing that it was the charger that did this and not the battery kind of makes me want to give the battery a shot. Metabo is sending me a replacement. But if this still works and works without me having to worry about it blow up, then I'll still use it. Making good progress on the axe handle. Thing looks pretty good actually. So I gotta figure out what I'm taking from here, take it to the trailer, but I won't uh, bore you guys with all the details, I'll just time lapse it I guess, or maybe not. As I said earlier, welcome to episode 14. I have created an hole. This is where the electrical panel is going to go. This whole building subs off of the garage for some reason. Uh, panel in here today. And putting in one box so we can just have electrical. It pretty much lines up with the old hole, so. Got it. That's probably all we need. Like a communist. That's what I was thinking. He <laughs> wants straight fucking Igor. So if you put him backlit against the window, <laughs> that could be my thumbnail. <laughs> or I keep your bathtub bathtub dry. Being obnoxious. I know. I know. I know. I know. If you got wood, go for it. I mean, not that kind of wood. You know what I mean. <laughs> Mock it up. What do you... What? Hi. 
Yeah, I know you're trying to be helpful, but you're, you're really not helping. <laughs> What's the dial on that do? It's got its torque setting and then oh. drill. I didn't realize it was all the way down on two when I tried to start that. It went, started it, and then was like, ah, fuck you. <laughs> and I had to bump up the time. Here's the doors we ended up getting. In fact, these are only the highest quality. These are just track doors, sliding doors. So we're building a closet wall. We got the breaker box back in. We have a uh, just a working outlet that may or may not stay there. Care package from Tabo HPT. Am I in frame? There's my head chopped Your off. Head chopped off. Got a little care package yesterday from a Tabo HPT. I had the very first charger of mine. Ooh, vlogging at 9 a.m. This is great. Very first charger of mine uh, finally gave up the ghost. I didn't realize it was a charger at the time because I just I was doing the cutting boards with the router and I pulled the battery off and noticed there's a snowball chance in hell with this actually focusing, but there, you can kind of see it. It got hot there. I didn't realize it was the charger at the time. At first I suspected the battery. So uh, I let my rep know. He said, sure, we'll send you a replacement and uh, it sent me a little bit more than a replacement sent a gigantic bag, which I don't even think you can buy anywhere. This is the large. It's bigger than any other bag I have. They sent me two, two and a half pound power multivolts. These are like 140 apiece. And, I don't know if these were overstock or something, but they sent me two of the three amp hour bolt style 18 volts. So get these on chargers, and now we don't have to worry about batteries anymore. All the juice, all the water. It's great because uh, little birdie told me we have some other stuff coming, so. I will once again be running out of batteries. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I don't know if they're available in the U.S. They make a five amp hour compact. It's like this, but it's like as deep as the multivolt, and they make a six amp hour. Okay, so I'm not even sure I explained what happened yesterday. Um, we got our sliding doors for this closet here. The reason we had to get the doors because we needed to know how big the opening was going to be. When we did that, we discovered. There's a giant dip in the floor right here, where there was, so we had to jack up the floor from underneath. There was some swearing involved, but only uh, a word or two. The floor is much more flat than it was, so we shouldn't have too much of a problem. About as flat as this trailer that sits on dirt is going to get. Yeah. 
The whole building is like this a little bit. The front half is on a concrete slab, and the back half is just on cinder blocks on dirt. He was underneath, I unscrewed the middle studs in here. So when we push the floor up, we weren't just like jacking the roof up with it as well. So we have to redo, re redo these before we can redo this. But to do that, we got to jack our beam up to where it's supposed to be again. Start the timeline. <laughs> Well, that only took two days, like Bluff said. These were interesting, that's for sure. Yeah. What do you think was harder, sliding door or hinge door? Hinge. Hinge door. Yeah. A thousand percent. Because we have to do all the weird mm -hmm. shim stuff. You don't have to shim these, the door literally just adjusts. Oh, girl. Opinion, dog. You think it's a door, huh? Your nose looks hilarious and wide angle. Can you see? Look at that snoop. It's so long. Oh, Your nose looks like it's a foot long. There's a meme. The winds are picking up out there now. I guess we ain't testing firewood out today, are we? Not with 20 mile an hour winds. Look.